Hi, welcome to the last session. It's about color. I'm Hyun Jung Suk. I'm an associate professor of Department Industrial Design, and my research interests are color psychology and emotional design. Through the opportunity of this course uh, at Coursera, I myself confirmed that indeed a color is an interdisciplinary matter. Let's explore the exciting world of color with me. Opening this color session, I'm starting with uh, viewing colors. Depending on the behavioral characteristics of light, the categorization of color could be more complex. However, I simply sort them into two, direct light or reflect light. If you are watching this video lecture on a screen, you are viewing a direct light. This color is constant in terms of its physical properties. However, our vision system always tries to optimize the vision adaptation. So how we judge the quality of a direct light can vary. We will learn more about this in another video lecture, Constant Color Viewing. In case of viewing reflected light, uh, it is called also as object color. In one of my design courses, I ask students to collect different materials in an identical color. Here presented some results. Viewing different object colors is caused by two reasons. First, the reflectance rate of the object surface is different. More scientifically explaining, the molecular characteristics of the surface of each object is different. The other reason is related with the light source. In the first week, we watched this picture. When the white ray goes through a prism, a colors of a single wavelength are resulted, like here, because of the different refraction rates. Therefore, the white light obtained from a sun ray contains almost equal intensity along the spectrum of the visible light. For the color collection assignment, one of my students managed to collect various yellows. Viewing these yellows color under the daylight is, in fact, sensing the reflection. On the contrary, the spectral distribution of a relative energy of incandescent lamp seems different. Or this is why an incandescent lamp looks in orange, because its spectral quality is like this. Therefore, if we see the yellow under this incandescent lamp, the reflection from the surface of the yellow would appear somehow somehow like this. Compared with the dotted line, yellow viewed under white daylight, the, reflect, the reflection under an incandescent lamp is more concentrated in long wavelength. In theory, the yellows should appear more or less in, yellow, uh, in yellowish orange in this case. However, our vision system has a wonderful adjustment. It perceives the unbalance of a spectral quality of the light source and almost automatically adjusts how to recalculate the color signals. Therefore, as a result, we do not recognize the difference uh, of surface colors under various um, light source as much as the reflectance dif distribution has been changed. Viewing color is much more than just a sensing light. In the following video lecture series, we have the opportunities to learn more about the other things. Thank you.